Hi everyone, I'm Eric and I'm an amateur astrophotographer and welcome to What's Up in the Night Sky. On September 7th into the morning hours of September 8th, a total lunar eclipse will be visible under favorable conditions in Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. The next lunar eclipse for the United States won't happen until March 14th of 2026. Without the lunar eclipse, the U.S. will enjoy the full moon, traditionally known as the corn moon or the harvest moon. The name of the moon in the northern hemisphere is due to the harvest time for corn and other crops. On September 8th, Saturn and Neptune will make a close approach to the moon. Neptune is only visible barely in binoculars or in any type of telescope. On September 12th, the moon will make a very close approach to Messier 45, an open star cluster more commonly known as the Pleiades or the Seven Sisters. Here's an image of the Pleiades that I took this past year. September 16th is the conjunction of the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, with the moon. Three days later, Venus will be even closer to the moon than Jupiter on September 19th. Everybody loves Saturn for its beautiful rings. Be sure to check it out on September 21st as Saturn will be at opposition, lying opposite to the sun in the sky. It will appear brighter than normal at this time, reaching its highest point in the sky at midnight. This is also when the sky will be perfect for stargazing as the moon will not be visible at the new moon phase. The next day on September 22nd, we finally reach the September equinox marking the first day of autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. The word equinox comes from two Latin words, echaeus meaning equal and nox meaning night. Equinox is where Earth gets exactly 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. Finally, on this active month, red planet and close neighbor Mars is making a close approach to the moon on September 24th. A huge thanks to all my newest subscribers for joining me here at Astro Portal. Be sure to check out my series surveying the cosmos as I go over space news stories real fast. Be sure to check out my other videos for more on astrophotography. Smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time on a later episode. Until then, take care and clear skies.